Eduardo, hi. 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 Ready? I'm ready. Eduardo, you are very punctual. Huh? <laughs> you are very punctual, right? I try it. <laughs> That's good. Very good. Nice, nice. Are you that punctual with uh, related to everything? Uh, excuse me? Are you so punctual related to everything? Like, for example, your work, a meeting or something? Uh... I, I try in, in all, all my uh, life to mm -hmm. uh, be punctual. To be punctual, okay, very be good. Punctual. Yeah, I try. For example, my, mo my mom, uh, uh, she, she was example of, of, uh, of the punctuality. Model. Of punctuality, yes. Wow, that's good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I learned that's a good a good value. <laughs> yeah, I, mm -hmm. I learned her. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I learned from her. I, I learned from her. From her. Okay, great. That's cool. Very good. How was your morning? Relaxing? A no. little boring? <laughs> Tiring? Yeah. Stressing? No, it's stressing. Ah, okay. You continue with a lot of work. Yeah, uh, the the other company or, uh -huh. or the other people don't finish the uh, the work. The, the, the work. Okay. Uh huh. And and I uh and this morning, for example, I try why I um. What is a uh, save, save the the save. finger? Mm -hmm. Save the singer the finger. Ah, print. the fingerprint for everybody. And the, the new and the new lecture. The uh, new, ah, okay, the mm -hmm. machine. I remember you told me. Ah, okay, very. But that is much better. I think uh, the yeah. the fingerprint machine is much better for avoiding for problems, problems, right? Yes. <laughs> problems of punctuality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. Okay, that's cool. Okay, well, you told me yesterday that you finished, right? The the the, the platform exercises, Eduardo. Okay. Mm -hmm. You finished, right? Yeah, I finished. Okay, very good. There is one um, in in the platform. I don't know if you have seen this part where you can download your uh, diploma. Did you do that? I. Uh, no, it's it's a it's, it's like a request. Uh -huh. You have to ask Soli for it. Uh, so, mm -hmm. como solicitar yeah. tu diploma. Uh -huh. okay, your diploma. No, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, uh, but, as soon as you finish the the platform and you know the that your um your score, your final score is more than eighty, so you should request uh -huh. it. Uh huh. And they are going to send you the the stuff there. Uh, so you can print it, okay, and start collecting your diplomas. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is something that I have forgotten to tell you because you are a, a new student in this platform. Okay, so we have yes. this. Uh huh. Very nice. Well, today we're gonna finish. Well, practically we're gonna wrap up unit number five, and then we are gonna do the platform exercises together. Okay. Uh, you are going to tell me the way you did the exercises, okay? And just in case there is a problem, I'm going to be assisting you, okay? okay. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to you, okay? Um, doing this part, okay? This is a reading, okay, Eduardo? Okay. Volunteer travel. A vacation with a difference. Okay, this is um this is the the stuff here. Maybe you can do me a, a favor, Eduardo. I have here some questions. This part, okay. I sent uh yesterday, I think, or the day before yesterday, these questions to your WhatsApp group. Can you please check if you have these questions? Check, please. Read the article, then write the questions in the appropriate place. Number one, what kinds of work can volunteers do? Number two, where can people volunteer to work? Number three, who can volunteer? 
four. And finally, who can someone find out, how, sorry, can someone find out about volunteer travel opportunities? And the number five, what is volunteer traveling? Okay, yeah, I got it. Do you have them? Okay, yeah. excellent. Very, very good. Yeah, I want you to keep them, okay, with you, okay, because I'm going to present this reading. And in this reading, okay, uh, in this reading, what we're going to do is this part. You are going to read, okay, these uh, paragraphs. And in the questions, Eduardo, that you have here, there are five questions. You are going to read the, the, the paragraph and you're going to tell me, okay, where the question goes, okay? This is what we are going to do in this exercise. Um, this is like you read and then you say, ah, teacher, this is the answer from the question, for example, number five, number three, okay. number one, etc. Okay? And then I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to check your pronunciation, vocabulary, just in case you have vocabulary. It says like this. Uh, read the example, the, the, the indications, please, Eduardo. Check, check the, the statements. Mm -hmm. Check the statements you think are, are true. Um, then it's can the article to mm -hmm. check your answers your answers very good can you repeat scan the article scan the article uh -huh, exactly article right article. okay very good well this is the number one it is the statement number one is volunteer travelers don't receive money for their work and the ah. second one volunteer travel is only for young people so what do you think is the the paragraph about or all the reading about the true uh -huh. do you what do you think is true the number one or the number two volunteer no, travelers number, the, don't receive money mm -hmm. no the number one volunteer travelers don't receive money for their work for their work okay that's it and volunteer travel is only for young people okay let's see this is your true statement now we are going to read the, the paragraph and you are going to let me know, right, if it is correct or not, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me ask you first, uh, have, you ever, have you ever done this kind of volunteering? When you don't uh, receive uh -huh, a salary. For example, in, for example, in, in uh, our congregation, we are uh -huh. volunteers. We don't ah, receive any, any okay. money. Any payment, and, right? Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. I and I, for example, uh, I I preach the the new the the the, the word mm -hmm. in, in in houses and I talk. Uh, uh, what is a? Uh, como dar un discurso. I give a discurso. speech. I give a speech. Uh, I give mm -hmm. a speech or, okay. or in, in many in many sites and, and I don't receive any. Any, any salary? Aha, uh -huh. no cents, no that. food, no food or nothing. 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 Okay, aha. Uh -huh. So that it's, is it's our recourse. Okay, this is our recourse. This is so. In this case, you are volunteering yourself, right? Yeah. No, nobody, volunteer. nobody's pushing you. Nobody tells you no. to do it because if you don't no. do it, then you won't be. Okay, very good. No, no, no. Okay, this is a kind of volunteering. Excellent, excellent. You know, uh, I knew about this program uh, when I was reading this. I said, wow, this is so real. Um, in 2003, you know, I am a, a, a panda bear lover. I love the panda bears a lot mm -hmm. since I was a, a kid. So um, I remember when I was 23 years old, more or less, I read about some information, uh, okay, uh, a place in, in China, China. Uh, for the zoo, the national zoo in China. They were asking for young people in that time, okay, young people or people with no responsibilities of a family, for example, to travel to China via uh, Canada, to travel to China uh, to spend there one year, okay or more if you were you know able to do it for taking care of panda bears in a zoo mm. so when i read that obviously i wanted to apply mm -hmm. I, am, I am i i i am the one i said yeah this is for me so i read more information i got into the the website 
and I got and I found out that obviously I got the requirements. The only thing I needed was to get a, a visa, a special visa. And I said, okay, I want to go there. The thing is that it says that something that has stopped my dream, maybe I could say a dream, was that it says that it was volunteering. So I was mm -hmm. not going to get any kind of uh, money. Honey. Only, only the food in the, the zoo. Food. Exactly. Yeah. So I had to, I had to speak, you know, to learn a little bit of uh, Chinese in that case, in order to get like a part-time job so I could get like money, right? To survive. Mm -hmm. Or the second of, uh, choice was to take a lot of money with you. Okay. And well, I spend it there during a year. And I what, said, what, what happened with, with the... The, with the, the accommodations the accommodation exactly. or the, the hotel the, the the house i don't know they in the in that case when i when i found out more information because i sent my my all my kind of resume my, my all my life you know details to the to the uh, what am i uh, what am i like? what is canada i remember that they sent me an application mm -hmm. form if I was uh, allergic to many things, if I had any problems, you know, diseases, because the only thing they could do is to share with us a kind of room, but it was not a house. It was a room with all the people volunteering. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, just bathrooms, you know, bathrooms for taking showers and common, a bed. Common, yeah. In a bed, I mean, no more, right? No television, no, no nothing. I said, wow, that is so a little bit like difficult because if you are there for a year, and I said, my mother told me, I remember, do you really love the Panda Bear cities? <laughs> do you really want to go there? And I said, mama, oh, I wish I could be there. I mean, my, my dream was to, to be there. But the mm -hmm. thing is that in that case, uh, I started to think, well, I cannot speak Chinese. That is mm -hmm. the first thing. If I want to learn to speak Chinese, obviously it won't be in one month, two months, three months. No, it would be like Maybe. more than six months if I really wanted to speak the language. The third, the, the other thing is, was I don't have a lot of money. I said by that time, I, I didn't have the money to go for a year and to take with me like $25,000, for example, or uh -huh. $20,000 or $10,000. So there were a lot of things that stopped me, you know, from going there. Now in my present time, one of my biggest dreams is to travel to China. No volunteering, okay. <laughs> but okay. yeah, to, to see, you know, in real life. No. I have seen pandas in the zoos uh, here in, okay. in Mexico. For example, I know in the United States there are more pandas. But I would really want to go to the context, you know, the place where the pandas are. So it's one of my dream, my biggest dream. So I, I was like this little, I was this little to do this volunteering travel. But okay. I couldn't. I couldn't. Let's just start with the number one, okay? Uh, we have here, uh, the, this, in this part, we're going to write the, the question, Eduardo. And in the second part, we have the answer, okay? So obviously, okay. Eduardo, you are going to read it for me. There you go. It's like an exchange program, okay? It's like an exchange program. People find a program in a country they like to visit. Mm -hmm. In exchange for food and accommodation, they, they work. In other words, they don't get a salary. A salary. The, uh -huh. Salary. The, the idea is uh -huh. that the volunteers can learn about real people in other countries. Vacationers uh -huh. who stay in, in hotels. Oh, hotels. Hot, hotels. Uh -huh. The pronunciation is like the stressing the intels, right? Hotels. Hotels, mm -hmm. hotels often don't learn much about much. the local people, much about 
the local people and culture. Culture. Uh -huh. culture. culture. Uh -huh. culture. Okay, culture. very good. It's like an exchange program, you know, when a person comes to El Salvador and one person yeah. from El Salvador travels okay. to the other place, right? Mm -hmm. China. Uh -huh. China. Yeah, in this case. No, but in, the, in China, I, nobody could come to El Salvador, right? I was going to go, but nobody. But this is like, it's very common. I, I, in the past, I have had like um, some students that have learned English with me. So then I received like emails, teacher, I'm traveling to, I have a, a girl, she lives in eh, eh, Olocuinta, and she traveled okay. to Alaska, Eduardo. Alaska. Alaska yeah, is a so she was, cool. Yeah, she was in Alaska for almost three years in an exchange program. Can you yeah. imagine? that? Was, so this is real. I mean, and they, they send me emails to let me know teacher thank you very much for all your help and na, 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 na. now my dream you know came true now i'm traveling they are traveling there they learned something there she learned a lot of things and she was with her family for the three years it was like very nice okay so according to the questions that you have eduardo in the in your whatsapp group okay so, mm -hmm. what do you think is the question? What kind of work can volunteers do? Where can people volunteer to work? Who can volunteer? And finally, how can someone find out what volunteer travel opportunities and what is volunteer traveling? So, what do you think is the number one? Uh, I think... Uh, is uh the number three who can number volunteer. three who can volunteer it's like a change program this is uh, like a definition the, yeah this is the definition i know uh -huh. so, so where can uh no what kinds of work is able to do is uh, is is the the number one what's number kind one. of of work? Yeah. Mm, no, 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 not exactly. No, this is like the definition. Is, yeah, look it's at the, look at the number five. Time. Look at the number five. What, what is a volunteer traveling? Uh huh, that's it. What is volunteer traveling? Mm, it's like an exchange like program. People, uh, find, people the program find the program in a program. country and they are giving the definition, okay. right? It's, yes, it's so the number one, uh huh, is what is volunteer traveling right traveling yeah. okay right. continue with the second one eduardo many of the jobs are on small farms farmers often need volunteers to harvest crops i harvest vegetables uh -huh. i i have harvested Har uh -huh. harvest uh -huh. vegetables Vesh vegetables vegetables vegetables, uh -huh. vegetables. okay vegetables and fruit and fruit in, include including nuts, nuts and mm -hmm. nuts and olive and olives, olives. Mm -hmm. uh, so volunteer, volunteers work with animals such as uh, milking cows milking cows uh -huh. or, or goats goats what is what is goats? cabras cabras, cabras. Uh -huh. uh, goats. That's it. Vacas, pequeños, uh -huh, no, cows, uh -huh. milking cows, this uh, okay. ordeñando vacas, right? O cabras. Ah, ordeñando. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, milking. milking. Milking is the verb is milk, is leche, but also is, is the haciendo. verb ordeñar. Mm -hmm. That's it. Están haciendo la leche. Mm -hmm. Milking cows. Exactly, milking cows or uh, goats. What? Oh, oh, goats. Uh -huh, goats. That's, That's interesting experience that's an inter interesting uh, experience interesting interesting I can tell you interesting mm -hmm. experience i can tell you uh i can tell you mm -hmm. i can tell you is is what is the the, the letter of you i can tell you mm -hmm. and it's you. a uh -huh. exclamation yeah, admiration. Uh-huh. This is like exclamation, yeah. so, admiration, right? 
Exclamation mark. Que es, eh, yo la veo como This is una like, L. Oh, no, I can tell you. This is like when you say, for example, y te cuento, te digo, mira, fíjate que ahí, que lo, lo, uh, okay? I can tell you. And sometimes farmers... And sometimes farmers want volunteers mm -hmm. to do things like build stone walls. Mm -hmm. There there are lots of possibilities. Okay, possibilities. Very good. Okay, so the second one, Eduardo, what do you think it is? The second one? Mm -hmm. Farmers often need volunteers to harvest crops, eh, to milk cows. Or go. Oh, it's the, 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 the question one. Aha, very good. Do? Excellent. What kinds of work can volunteers do? Very good. Continue with the third one, okay? Let's continue with the third one. Anyone. Anyone. This is like cualquiera, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone, go cualquiera. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyone, many volunteers are fairly young. They work. The work can be mm -hmm. hard, so a volunteer needs to be fit. Fit. But, mm -hmm. fit. but, but actually, age isn't important. Mm -hmm. I've work, worked with people in their 70s, 70s, 70s and even, even 80s. 80s, ajá, very good. 70s de los eh, con 70 y 80 años, dice. So, what is the question? The, uh, the question is... Mm -hmm. Number one, no. Number five, no, because they are already taken. Yeah. Is uh, the four. Number four. And finally, how can some find about... No, no. No, where not can right. people volunteer? To, no, where can people? Where? The number two. Mm, the number two. No, who can? The number three. Ah, who very good. Volunteer? Excellent. Who can volunteer? Anyone. Can Many volunteer? volunteers are. That's Anyone. it. Young or old people. Remember, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. No problem. Okay. Hey, Jose Garcia is here. Hi, Jose. Well, I don't know if he's here. Exactly. Hi. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's here. Hi, Jose. Very nice to, to hear you. <laughs> Thanks. And, and very nice to see your name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No Jose, can you please read the number, the paragraph number uh, four, please? Okay. Ah, there you are, Jose. Nice. Okay. Read Sorry, the number. Number? Number four. Just Number. about anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the paragraph four. four, this one. Ah, okay. Just, mm -hmm. just about. Bien, bien mm -hmm. al, just, just about anywhere in the world. I volunteer in Italy, Morocco, Indonesia, and several countries. In Latin, in Latin America. America. Very good. So what is the question if we do this? We have only two possibilities. Where can people volunteer to work? And the other is, and finally, how can someone find out about a volunteer traveling? Aha, uh -huh. so what is the question here? No, I don't know. What is the question? Maybe Eduardo, because Eduardo was at the beginning of the, the, the exercise. Aha, uh -huh. Eduardo, what is the other question here missing? Where can people volunteer to work? Where can people volunteer to work? Okay, very good. Where can people volunteer to work? So the answer is just about anywhere in the world. I have volunteered uh, in Italy, in Latin America, Indonesia, several countries, etc., etc. Okay, very good. And obviously, <laughs> the last one is Eduardo, number four. Ah, uh, the number, the number four. four. Read the question uh, and then, uh huh. And finally, mm -hmm. how can someone find out about mm -hmm. voluntary travel opportunities? Uh huh. Okay. And, and what is the answer? Oh, oh, oh that's easy. Just go online, do a search for voluntary travel or voluntary vacation. Uh huh. 
you'll find, find lots find lots of websites with information, information. about opportunity opportunity for volunteering mm -hmm. maybe, maybe let me move my 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 higher um, scroll it that has scrolled your, your screen yeah, maybe, maybe there is uh, a program maybe there is a program in a country you always wanted to visit to visit okay very good okay that's it this is about volunteer traveling okay as i was okay. telling at the beginning of the the class, right? This is something that uh, it's very common. A lot of young people like it. Why young people? Well, because they don't have any responsibilities for being mm. a mother, I mean, a mother, a father, having children. Family child. Huh? Exactly. And when you are an adult, like 60, 50, whatever, your kids are already grown up. So that's why they can travel. Okay. Very, very okay. nice. Excellent. Well, right now, guys, we're, I'm going to um, display, okay, this part because I want you to, I want you to be with me here. Okay, we're going to do the final exam together, okay? You are going to give me the answers. The only thing I'm going to do is to click if it is correct or not, okay? Well, Wendita is here. Hi, Wendy Moreno. Hi, Miss. Uh, very good. Wendy, we start with you, okay? Okay. So if you haven't finished uh, this part, pay attention to the answers and then you just do the exam in your platform. Okay? That's it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's go with the, well, the listening is, is for you. This is something that you have to do in your house, you know, in your earphones, concentrated, right? That's it. We're going to start, uh, Wendy, with the vocabulary. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is like you read the sentence, uh, Wendy, and then you give me the correct answer. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Number one. Love my neighborhood. It's very safe. It's very safe. Okay. Uh, continue, Jose. Jose Garcia. Number two. Is Jose? Ah, yeah. Jose is there. Uh -huh. Okay. Go Number ahead. two. Number two. I live. I live. On very busy street, mm -hmm. I can get a little bit. Mm, Spacious, little modern, bit or noisy? Space. Very busy street, noisy. Noisy, okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It can get a little noisy. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Number three, Eduardo. Comfortable, <sighs> convenient, or dingy? Is um, is conven convenient. It convenient. Is convenient to have parking space near my apartment. Okay, very good. Let's check the number. Well, the convenient for number three. Wendy, number four. Our house is modern and very bright. It has huge. We huge window, windows. Windows. Okay, let's check here. So, <laughs> Jose, ready? <laughs> Jose gets very nervous when we are going to submit the answers. <laughs> right, Jose? <laughs> you always have a problem with this section. Okay, there we go. Let's submit and we're going to check the answers that you chose. Oh, very good. Excellent. Very good. So, in the vocabulary, guys, you have 10. Excellent, okay? I love my neighborhood. It's very safe. I live on a very busy street. It can get a little bit noisy. Okay, number three. It's convenient to have parking spaces near my apartment. Four, our house is modern and bright. It has huge windows, right? That's it. Let's continue and we start with Eduardo. Do you remember this part, Eduardo? Enough and not enough. enough. Uh-huh. And not enough. enough. Let's see. Enough. Number one. This is for Eduardo. Number two is for Jose. And number three is for my friend Wendy. Okay, Eduardo. Our our apartment is is too small. There are no enough rooms. Okay, so this is the number three. The number three. Mm -hmm, that's it. Not enough rooms. Okay. So let's continue, Jose. Number two. Okay. People. people people can see into our house. There is uh, no no privacy. 
No enough privacy. The second or not the enough second. privacy. Okay, the not, second one. Not enough privacy. Okay, yes. there we go. We check it. Number three, Wendy. My car. Uh, my my car is too small. It doesn't have enough space. Okay, enough space. Let's see. <laughs> Ready? Ta <-da. laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's. See. I, I'm I'm very nervous. Right? <laughs> Sometimes this program, you know, fails. Okay, there we go. Oh, very good. Okay, excellent. I'm when I had to do that, I closed my eyes. No way. I, I wait <laughs> a few seconds <laughs> and to and submit you, the answer to. And Wendy, then uh -huh. I open one eye. I, I was going to tell you that. <laughs> then you are like this, Wendy. You are like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we have more problems when you type. When you type the answer, yes. Uh, uh -huh. When you choose, I think it's a little bit easier. Okay, very good. So number one, not enough rooms. Number two, not enough privacy. And number three, enough space. Okay, there we go. Let's continue. We continue. Wendy, now we start with you. Then we go with Jose, number two. And Eduardo, number three. Multiple choice. Go ahead, please, Wendy. Um, my apartment doesn't have many, many windows. Many windows? Uh-huh, so the option one, okay. Jose? Yes. Okay, our house is as convenient as your apartment. Okay, so number? Second, second. Um, the second one, excellent. Uh-huh, and the number three, Eduardo? Uh, modern apartments often don't have as much, as much space as older ones. Older ones, so the second one, right? The second one. Okay, very good. And now we submit. Boom. Okay, excellent. Very good. That's it. Number one, my apartment doesn't have many windows. Number two, our house is as convenient as your apartment. Number three, modern apartments often don't have as much space as older ones. Very good. We go on the other one. That's it. So let's start with this one. Expressing wishes. Remember, the wish is something that you want, okay, but it's not in your presence, okay? Yes. There we go. Number one, Jose. Okay, uh, I don't like my new job. Job, I wish it were more, it was more fun. It was, no, sorry, it, it were more fun. It were more fun. So, uh -huh. option one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Option one. Okay, very good. And, and why did you, why, why did you say, Jose, Jose, why did you say it was? For, for is it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, I, in this, I, 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 you in remember. I, uh -huh, guys, I don't uh, remember. Uh, when you talk about wishes, you never say was. You say you have to say Only where, where mm -hmm. for all Only the where. pronouns, right? Uh -huh. yes. Don't forget that. Very good. Second one, Eduardo. I can find. Uh, I can find my new cell phone. I wish I could find it. Okay. Second, second option. Two. Okay. That's it. Great. Wendy, number three. My boyfriend is in a good shape. I wish he were in good shape. He were the third option. I think so. I think so. What What do you think, Eduardo? He He's was right. or no, he, he were? were? He were. He Jose, told... are you sure? Aha, uh -huh, Eduardo, tell me the answer, please. No, you told uh -huh. uh, the, the where is uh, is used for all the pronouns, right? All the pronouns, yeah. Exactly, very where good. So, uh -huh, Wendy, he where? He Let where? me check. Then we check and then we submit. Okay. Boom. Okay, very good, very good. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun. 
okay? Let me, let me say a little bit with this. Hay gente que dice, oh, my, my job is very funny, right? Para decir que bien divertido. So, mm -hmm. be careful with this term, okay? Porque una persona puede ser divertida, pero una clase no es funny. Una clase es fun, okay? Okay. So, be careful with that. You say, hey, the clown is very funny. Okay, porque los hace reír. But the class, for example, my English class is fun. fun. No funny. Okay, fun. that's it. Be careful with this because sometimes I listen, no, maybe not you, but I have listened to many students say, hey, you know, teacher, my last vacations were very funny. When do we use funny? Funny is for a person. Um, or, or, okay. or, or, or animal or their... Oh, yeah, for example, uh, for example, the yesterday I went to a, a friend's house and he has a cat. Uh, <laughs> and the, <laughs> the cat was making funny, like, movements, you know. O sea, me daban uh, risa eso. Es que el gato era chistoso, right? Era divertido el gato, el gato el, el que hacía las cosas. So the cat was funny, okay? Y una That's película... It. The, 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 the movie, for example, the yeah. actor is funny. I find it. Okay, the, that's the, it. The movie is fun. But then going to the movies, be with friends, surrounded with friends, drinking soda and poker, that's fun. It's a diversion, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we have to be careful here with the, with the term funny and fun. Okay, that's it. So, cuando diga, mis vacaciones estuvieron bien, bien divertidas. No me voy a decir, my vacations were very funny. No. Me voy a imaginar ahí las vacaciones. La, 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 la. <laughs> Jumping. No, 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 right? So, my vacations were fun. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, that's it. My... Or more fun. It was, no, fun. Fun. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. that's it. Okay, that's it. In this case, we have to, to, to distinguish between fun and funny. That's why I wanted to point out this one. I can find my new cell phone. I wish I could find it, okay? The past tense for can is good. That's it. My boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish he were in good shape, okay? Very, very nice. Let's go on the next one. This is simple past versus present perfect. This is for Jose. Number one, have you ever, Jose? And they say, what are you going to do after class today? Uh, the second one. I'm sorry. Did I skip something? No. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay, right. Okay. Then the next exercise is present perfect and simple past, Jose. Ah, sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I say, oh my uh, God. Have you have you ever eaten Spanish food? Uh huh. Very good. So the third option. Third option. Okay. Correct. Very good. The third option. Uh, Wendy, the second option, please. The second option. The the, the second sentence. Uh, yes, I have. I went to a Spanish restaurant last week. Okay. For you, it went here. Number three, Eduardo. Did you like it? Okay. The number, eh, one. The number one. Aha, uh -huh, okay. In present. Yeah. Jose, number four. Number four is. Yes. It was delicious. It, it was delicious. Was okay, delicious. let's see. Ta -dum, ta -dum. Now we submit it. Very good. Excellent. Okay, nice. Hey, you're gonna get 10, huh? You're gonna get 10 in this, okay? Do it the same in your platform and that's it, you're done. Will or be going to? Let's start with Eduardo. What are you going to do after class today? Okay, so the option number? The option two. The second one, right? Second, yes, yeah, second. Are you going to, are you going no. to do? Um, are you going to do? Okay. Continue, Wendy, number two. Oh, here, I'm sorry, here, there is a mistake, a finger <laughs> mistake, okay? 
let me take a picture. Okay, so we can correct this, this problem later on. Okay, um, go ahead please, Wendy. Yes, definitely, right? Uh-huh, I'm definitely. Uh-huh, I am definitely, definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. Okay, very good. So, is the going to watch, right? The first one, yes. Okay, great. Jose, please give me the third one. When are they going to take their vacation? Okay, the third option. The third option. Number four, Eduardo. Um, uh, I think they will go on a cruise in June or July. Okay. So, I think they... Option. So, second option. We'll go. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. It's not sure, right? June or July. There we go. Sure. That's it. Okay. Very good. That's it. So, we have the answers correct. Very good. What are you going to do after class today? I'm definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. When I to take their vacations, I think they will go on a cruise in June or July. I don't know, right? That's it. Very nice. That's it. So now we have the reading comprehension. Okay. Uh, it says, read Rosa's email then choose true or false okay that's it this is the email for rosita right that's it okay hi paula it says like this wendy can you please read are you there wendy yes okay can you please read the, the email okay Hi, Paula. Greetings from Bangkok. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great city for shopping. Yesterday, we went to a huge weekend market. It was a full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes, and the prices are great. Things here are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Of course, Fernando tells me I'm spending too much money, but you know him. He never, buy, he never buys anything. Have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We just had a wonderful dinner in one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered green curry and rice, and I had my favorite dish, me, crop, crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. For dessert, we had a fried bananas. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. Pass by. One Very thing, good. Continue. One thing. I've noticed is that some restaurants make their curries less spicy for foreigners. Yesterday, I told our waiter, this curry isn't hot enough for us. He smiled and said, Sed, okay. Some foreigners don't like spicy food. Then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. Time to stop. We're flying home tomorrow, so I see you soon, Rosa. Rosa, okay, very good. Rosa, Rosa it writes very well. Okay, that's it. This is the reading about Rosita. Now it says here. Well, I don't know. First of all, let me let me check. I don't know if you have any questions related to vocabulary. This is important. When you read a reading, it's important to be sure about the vocabulary. If you don't know a lot of words, it's going to be very hard to understand the reading. Okay? But if you know the vocabulary, well, there we go. We go on. Okay, let's start with the number one, Bangkok. Bangkok is a good place for shopping. We have two options, true and false. What do you think, Eduardo? 
It's true. It's true. Okay, let's do it like this. Second one is for Jose. Okay, you can buy most things except clothes in the market. The it's market. false. It's for, ha, you can buy. <laughs> Very good. Uh, number three, Wendy. The prices? The prices in the market are very reasonable. Mm -hmm. I think it's true. It's true. Okay, very good. Yes. That's it. And number four. Number four, Eduardo. Micro is Thai name of green curry. Uh huh. It's, it's a green false. curry. False. False. Let me check here, false. Number four, false. Okay. And the number five, Jose. Mommy. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Alfred. Mm -hmm. Visitors love Thailand hot and spicy food. Aha. Uh -huh. no, all. All. It says all, right? True or it's false? false? It's false. False. Okay. That's it. For foreigners, is less spicy. Let. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Foreigners. 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 Uh -huh. Foreigners. Foreigners. Those are los, vis los, los extranjeros, Foreign. right? Foreigners. Foreign visi uh -huh. Visitors. 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 Low Thailand. Visitors. Okay. okay. So we have number one true, number four false, uh, number three true, four false, five false. Ready? That's Ready. it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hurry up, internet. Okay, very good. That's it. Very, hey, this is the first time I'm saying Wendy <laughs> that we have all correct. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> okay, very good. That's it. This is, uh, well, I think this is the last part, right, that we have in this uh, exam. So the only, the only one that is... Um, the only part that is missing, guys, is the listening part, okay? This is the one that you have to do with your earphones, okay? Plug there. Uh, so you can do it, you know, with more, more privately, okay? That's it. With this final exam, we are concluding, okay, the intermediate uh, course, right? In these five sections that we have covered, we have learned how to express wishes, how to talk about experiences, a little bit about past. Do you remember when you talk about it used to, okay? Uh, you talk about experiences uh, with have, uh, have, ever, have you ever, have been, have gone, etc. We studied also the use of uh, enough, to, okay, much, many, okay, countable, uncountable, etc. And lately, Okay, the model for necessity, models for suggestions, etc. Okay, uh, I don't know. Well, Eduardo, you are done, right? You finished right. completely. Very good. What about Jose? You finished too, right? I finished. Okay, very good. And Wendy, what about Wendy? Uh, I'm missing one section. One section. Which one? Uh, section five. Section five. I'm finishing. Ah, okay. Section ah, you're finished. Four. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. So the section five, okay. But now you already know how to do the final test, right? Yeah. That's it. You have been yes. doing it. This is a, a, a very good chance to, to do it. Okay. The, pla so the platform is uh, uh, don't have many problems now. In this in this section is very nice, right? In yes. the in the intermediate in the intermediate one. I think I think that the problem was when you type. In the uh, yes, I mm -hmm. I had a, 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 a. Did you have one mistake? Yes. No? Mm -hmm. You cor I you corrected you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember you sent the the the, the mm -hmm. screenshot right from the exercise. That's it. Eduardo, no, Eduardo didn't ask for help this module. <laughs> very nice, Eduardo, very good, okay. The idea is, uh, obviously, is to do the exercises, okay, um, on time, because there are some people that by this time haven't done like 
most of the, the platform. So remember that to pass the to the following uh, module, you have to finish the platform, okay, and finish it with this. As I was telling Eduardo, at the end you can request you can request the 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 diploma, okay, and then you can print the diploma and you can collect them right for your uh, resume. That's it. Okay, uh, guys. Just, yes, Eduardo. Yesterday I I received a, mm -hmm. a, a email mm -hmm. uh, to to sus, uh, sus, is, to para inscribir el, de uh -huh. la nueva la, to enroll nuevo, ah okay to uh, the new program uh, well the following yeah. the following course exactly yes mm -hmm. you have yes. Uh, you have uh, this week okay remember we finish classes today next week we are off okay no classes right okay. you will receive an email and in the WhatsApp group they are gonna let you know when we are going to start the new course right okay. that's it. If you have questions or something, well, you have my WhatsApp number. You can send messages to me, okay? And I will be more than glad to assist you, right? Any questions so far? Any questions? For no me? questions. No. So, okay, guys, it was once again a pleasure to have you in my classes as every month. So it was a very good pleasure, Eduardo, to have you here. Your responsibility and punctuality was always neat. Eduardo was always at one o'clock. <laughs> Very punctual. Okay. I hope to see you next month, guys, again. Okay. Okay. Have a wonderful afternoon and a nice, nice weekend, everybody. Goodbye, okay, guys. Take care. Bye, Bye miss.